what I'm wondering as well is how will the council tackle um, at a local level? So tackle those to assure people that this is effective and it will 100, 100% um, help us fight through this. I think it's really interesting that you say that and I think it's absolutely recognised in a lot of vaccination and screening, actually cancer screening is quite a similar um, situation in terms of people feel hesitant about taking up some of those screening tests because they're worried about the impact of that and, I, and you're absolutely right in terms of other vaccination programmes and I guess we've not really experienced something on this scale that, that actually really pushes that message out. I think one of the interesting things about the speed in which which the vaccine has been created is that people tend to forget that actually it's not the science that tends to be the thing that slows things up it's money and we've actually for the first time <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> for the first time we've actually been in a situation where money has been no object because the demand for the vaccine is so high because actually with other vaccine development and actually other medications development they tend to stop start as the market is interested in it or it's less interested in it or there's another vaccine on the market another drug on the market and actually the speed in which you go through that process is absolutely nothing to do with um, checks and balances because the checks and balances are the same yeah. it's just the fact that there's been money in the system so much money that all the scientists have been able to work on this and all the regulations uh, authorities have been able to go through all their checks at speed which means that the checks have been done in a much more concentrated period of time but I do understand because it is tempting to think well actually they've rushed it if we had all the money in the world to do all of the drugs that will help people then it would take the same amount of time we'd have done it quickly because the money was in the system but it's how you get that message across in a way that people trust and that's meaningful I think that from the safety perspective I think the fact that we've vaccinated over 13 million people across the country means that actually the side effects have been extremely small um, and actually that that to me should give some reassurance that it is safe but I suppose that's where sometimes fake news can play quite a challenging role because you always hear about somebody's relative or somebody's friend that have had a, an, an adverse reaction and that becomes fact more than it does fake news and and it's how you kind of are able to combat that with some of the key messages from my perspective I think it I'd be really keen on on hearing from people within the community who want to come forward and, and kind of either talk about their experience or or almost kind of share some of those myths that we can then do some myth busting of because I think that if you have a, what I've found anyway is that I did I've done some webinars with some um, for example some faith settings and some other groups where we've talked about some of the things that they're worried about and actually you find that after a discussion where they're able to share some of their concerns and that we can address some of those, yeah. then they're more likely to take the vaccine. And I, and I just think there's real power in conversations, and I'm sure you will agree, given the, the job that you do, actually having being able to have a discussion and talk about it feels like a better place than kind of... Um, I don't like the idea of stigmatizing communities in terms of things like vaccine hesitancy or others because actually it's perfectly reasonable to want to have answers and to feel reassured before you're going to do something because it is your body and your choice and I think my job is to make sure that everybody has the right information to be able to make that informed choice mm -hmm. um, and I guess I'd be keen to hear from people who want to be part of that really.